Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure to set an application to automatically launch on a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Desktop. So I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi, but this should work on the previous models, and I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist where you can find my other Raspberry Pi videos, and I'll put a link to the show notes for this video so you don't have to copy what I'm saying off the screen. You can go to the website and you can even copy and paste what is on there. So I have this Raspberry Pi booted up. I'm on the Raspbian desktop. I want to open up a terminal. And for this example, I want this to automatically open up Chromium when I start the machine. So first I need to find the executable for Chromium. So I'm in the terminal here. I can just start typing Chrome and then I'll hit tab. And you see here we have Chromium browser. I'll type that a little bit more and I'll hit tab again. There we go. Now I think I could just reference Chromium browser, but you can also use the full path. So if I hit control A, it'll take me to the front of this. And then I can type the word which in, W-H-I-C-H and space and Chromium browser. And this will tell us the path to get to Chromium browser. So here I'll just copy this. If you're running a shell script, like say in your home directory here, you can type PWD and it will show you your home directory. So I'll clear my screen here. Then I want to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash xdg forward slash lx session forward slash lxde dash pi forward slash auto start. I'll hit enter and then I'll go to the bottom here and I'll type the app symbol and then I will paste in the path to the Chromium browser. Now I want to open a specific website, so I'll just type https colon slash slash www.rickmakes.com. So you may think you'd want to put some quotes around this, but that actually screws it up, so you want to leave the quotes off. So I'll hit enter, I'll hit control O to save, control X to exit, and this should start now when we boot the machine. So there's a potential when you're messing with this file, you can screw it up, so you could make a backup of this file, you could also have SSH enabled on your Raspberry Pi, so if you can't uh, control it from this interface, you could always SSH into it and undo what you did. So we don't actually have to restart to test this. I can just close my terminal here, and I'm going to log out, and I will type my password in and log back in. So I don't know if my screen capture software will capture the login, so if not, I'll just cut the video and show after it's logged in. So I'll go up here and say shut down and log out. Okay, so this website came up. So if you had a bunch of Raspberry Pis in a school setting and you start the Raspberry Pis before class, you could have it automatically come up with say the school's website or the curriculum for the day or something like that. So this will open up no matter who the user is. So if you have multi-users on the Raspberry Pi, this will come up for everyone. If you want to limit it to one user, then there's another way we have to do that. So I'll go into the terminal here. And I'm logged in as Pi, so you can see Pi here in the terminal prompt. So I want to type mkdir space dash p space. So this is going to make a directory, and the p says make all subsequent directories. So uh, typically with make directory, you can only do one directory at a time. Unless you do dash p, then you can make them all. So I'll type dot config, then forward slash lx session, forward slash lxde dash pi, and then hit enter. Next, I'll clear my screen. I'll type cp space forward slash etc forward slash xdg forward slash lx session forward slash lxde dash pi forward slash auto start. And I want to put that in the folder I just created, so I'll say dot config forward slash lx session forward slash lxde dash pi forward slash and then I'll hit enter. So I need to remove the line from the original auto start, so I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash xdg forward slash lx session, then lxde dash pi, and auto start. I'll scroll down to the line, I'll just hit control k, that will remove the whole line. I'll do control o to save, control x to exit. I'll clear my screen, so I'll type cat space dot config forward slash lx session forward slash lxde dash pi forward slash auto start and I'll hit enter. 
So we copied this script over. So I did some testing on this because I thought maybe I could just add this line in to this auto start file per user. But if you have an auto start file here, it doesn't run the main one. So you do have to have the LX panel, the PC man FM and the X screen saver. I mean, you could you know modify this yourself, but you do need these other things for your graphical interface to load. So the easiest way to do that is to copy the file over and then you can add in your line at the bottom, which I already have here. So now I'll log out and we'll test this again. And there we go. So I use the command line text editor nano. If you're not great with that, you can also use mouse pad in the same exact way. So if I do mouse pad dot config slash LX session, LXDE dash pi slash auto start. You can do the same thing here and you can just change it and then save it when you're done and it will work in the same way. So hopefully this helps some people. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.